thanks guys uh, for tuning in and joining us back here again in the Synchro Workshop uh, and with the Series 1 EV. We've been away for quite some time, a few months. Um, we've just been busy uh, doing a lot of different things. The workshop's changed a bit. We took a holiday, we had a bit of, or I had a bit of surgery uh, and a few other things, but uh, we're back now. We wanted to sort of give you an idea of what we're doing with the Series EV, where we are. Uh, this isn't going to be a full video, so... Um, but before we get into it, if you've watched the other ones already, it might be worth going back and watching episode 10, just to refresh your memory as to where we are. Um, so yeah, let's get into this and I'll explain a little bit more. So at the end of the last episode, uh, we had got to the point where we were doing a lot of wiring um, and just making things fit this particular vehicle. So we did all the high voltage wiring, we did the sensor wiring, we did the low voltage stuff and everything, got the battery mounted, got the ECU mounted and got the whole uh, wiring system in to a point where we were happy with it. Um, and then it was really a point of flicking the switch, seeing what it does uh, and going from there. Um, once we've got the batteries mounted. So I'm not gonna go into a massive load of detail just cause this is a refresh video, but we've got the batteries mounted. <clears throat> they're all in where they should be. Um, they're all connected up. So we've got the 400 volts that we need. All the wiring's done, like I mentioned. Um, but it doesn't work, uh, is the long and the short of it. So the reason it doesn't work is unknown at this, mo at this moment. We've been through all the wiring. Uh, we're genuinely struggling with this. Um, we've gone through all the wiring. We've continuity checked everything. We've got 400 volts. The, uh, the relays are working. Um, the contactors are working. So there's voltage there, the pre charge contactor is working. Uh, some of this might not make any sense to you, but basically everything that we need to function functions. Um, everything appears to be connected. Continuity tests, it just doesn't work. Uh, uh, and that is the number one reason why I love electrics. I love wiring so very, very, very much. Um, so yeah. I'll just grab, grab the camera now, just show you around very, very briefly on what we've done. Um, more is coming. We have made progress with other bits on the car that aren't EV related, um, but we'll save the detail for them for other videos that we've already filmed bits of. Um, so yeah, take a look. So just showing you around some of the wiring. Now this is the, the low voltage wiring. It looks a bit messy. Um, and because of the issues we've had, we've actually had this all really neat and it's all been in conduit, it was all mounted beautifully. Um, and then when it all didn't work, we stripped it all back out again and, and um, created a bit more of a mess, trying to figure it all out. Um, so this is all the low voltage wiring. You can see the, the middle battery there in the battery seat, in the battery box, sorry. Underneath the seat box, there's our main battery. Um, I say main battery, it's the bigger of the, the battery packs in the tub. And then up front, see we've got all our electrical junk trying to figure this out we've got the front battery pack there's our relay contactors sorry um, and stuff and then our service disconnect down here which i know you've seen a lot of this stuff already um, so yeah that's how everything else is laid out the rest of the car like i said we've been making a little bit of progress we did have a bit of time off uh, front axle's missing that's uh, on the bench at the back, having been stripped and cleaned. We've got parabolics on the floor that they're ready to go on. Um, the rear axle casing is mounted with the parabolics, um, with the, the diff ready to go in, uh, and that is ready to be assembled. Um, and we'll go into a lot more detail on that, but that's how she looks now. And even as she doesn't work, it's still a stunning looking car. So that's it, guys. You know where we're at now. Um, bear with us. There'll be more videos coming. We will get this figured out one way or another. Uh, I just don't know how at this point. Um, as you can see, there is progress being made and we're pushing on with it a, a, a lot more. So, so uh, more videos will come in time. Uh, and if you've got any brilliant ideas, stick it in the comments below. If you know any amazing EV uh, Nissan Leaf gurus, make sure you tag them as well. 
Um, and if not, check us in the next video. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe, watch the other videos and click the like button as well.